Pencils yep. down. Ah, drop them. That's it. That's it. No more drop bullshit. Drop no em. more bullshit. Let's get those pencils Ugh. on the fucking ground. Ugh. We might Ugh. have Cody back Friday. We right. might. We'll see. I don't know how he's going to be doing. We'll see. Either depending on who you listen to, he's either going to have a great day or a bad day. I don't know. Can't tell anymore. You can't tell Can't get anymore. honest news coverage anymore. No, it's not going to happen. So it is just, yay, yay, yay. It's mm. just, uh, mm -hmm. it's going to be crazy. But I didn't win the Powerball. Did you, Eddie? Didn't get a single number. Didn't, yeah. You didn't get well, one? Five tickets. Didn't get anything. I think you should win for buying five tickets and not getting a single number. I think that's, that's harder to get. That's pretty impressive, right? How that's, impressive is that to get not one number out of five tickets? Out that's of five crazy. combinations of numbers, what are the odds, man? It's got to be closer than. It got to be higher than the person who actually won the Powerball. Uh, yeah, I would imagine. No doy. Mm, to get no. nothing. To get nothing out of five tickets. That not a single that. number. You were jobbed. So jobbed. Jobbed. Big time. Job. Let's just say it. Job. Can we say it? Said Jobbed. it. Done. This is the Ramble Podcast. Mm. To those who don't know. If you're just if this is just if you're flipping it through the dial and you land right, on this. You're switching. <laughs> that's what this is. You're just rifling through podcasts. You're just switching through them. And you're like, oh, what the ramble, eh? Yeah. That's what this is. It's a ramble. That's we tell you like it is. That's what we do. Yes. Right? And and if you are new. <laughs> Even if you're all, because our numbers are more than our ratings, than the five star ratings. There, yeah. We have more listeners than we have five star ratings. Right. And we have way more listeners than we have positive text reviews. Which doesn't add up. It doesn't add the fuck up. So, unless every single one of our, our positive text review listeners is downloading it onto like seven different devices. Oh, no. I think I, I lost Jerry. <laughs> I'll I'll try to bring him back. Hold on one second. There he's coming it's back. This. There. Uh, now we got what we got happened? no we got no camera. You're you in the dark. You can hear me though, right? I can hear you. So right, for, wait a there minute. you Wait back. a you're, minute. This isn't right though. You're on your you're on your laptop camera now. I'm on my fucking sorry. What is see? We're trying to expose what's happening here. Right? And we're and we're getting uh This is some Illuminati bullshit. They're coming at wait. They're, they're coming, coming at, at There it there is. There it is. Jesus, see? Mm. See? Something seems sus. You want to talk about things not adding up, Eddie? That, wow. 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 That's right. Wow was right. Wow. That's the only word I can think of. Wow. wow. Man. Mm. Mm. So, but. They're like trying I to bury saying, us at whatever ramble number this is. They're, this they is, finally got to the point. They're like, look, because they thought we were dead at five. Yeah. And now that we're 329, they're trying to shut it down. Imagine, they're taking matters into their own they're hands. They're just, it's like Sharon Osbourne cutting the power on Limp Biscuit during Ozfest. Yep. That's what's just, happening. That's nothing else we can do. There's nothing else we, we can do. We thought the people would reject them wholeheartedly. They haven't. They haven't uh, cut the fucking power. So they're just, at 329, they're cutting the power on They're us. cutting the power. It's bullshit. <clears throat> but anyway, so if you're new to this here. Uh, rumble, um, rum, rum, rumble. Five star rating, please. Positive texture. We're still deadlocked at the one thirty two. Oh man, that's but yeah. We have a new king of the hill on our on our. What? So five, five star rating is still one thirty two. Right. Okay, I don't positive know how. You, I don't know who's review. not rating it and but leaving a positive text review. I don't know, but we I don't get this. One. We have a new one, and I think. It was. Remember when uh, Locker Miltick ran the title for like he was our Bruno San Martino. He I was mean, our fabulous he, Mula, who held that, it for like forty years. Does that put Locker Miltick straight in the hall? I mean, that run. He's in the discussion. He's in the. He, you have to put him in the discussion for all time Ramblers. All time. I mean, to to, to have that big of a hold in. Yeah. For that long. That's that, impressive. That's impressive. Talk about. I mean. King of the mountain, right? And Gemma may run this European title for the next century. We don't right. know. Who knows about Gemma? Gemma, the, the European champion. <laughs> I mean, my God. My God. Who's the new champion? Who who knocked whoever off the hill? Well, I'm trying to find something here because I, I'm stunned. I thought 
that this was a previous King of the Hiller. Oh, a I, repeat champion? I this might be our our first repeat. Our first two timer. Our this is Seahawks fan, nineteen eighty seven. Hill's back. Is Hill Hill's back? Hill's back. Is that Brian Hill? Is his greeting Ramblers? This is Brian Hill, aka Seahawks <laughs> fan, nineteen eighty seven. I want to do this because I want my King of the Hill spot back. See, he wow. had it. Wow. But you guys deserve it. And how about them Seahawks this year? First place in the division. They, that is a surprising run. They put that Jordan Peterson stuff behind them. They did. They, were, they, they did. walked away from the Jordan Peterson pep talk. <laughs> and now look at him. See? See Six what happens? Six and three. Geno Smith killing it. I mean, that is. See? I, had had I Peterson am, been there for the pep talk with G, when Geno Smith? Nope. Not, I think I think Peterson followed Russell Wilson to uh, Denver is what I think happened. I think that might have happened. I think maybe. I think maybe. That's why I'm. I mean, I'm. I'm no Seahawks fan, but I am enjoying them winning like this with Geno Smith, just so Russell Wilson can stare at it on and TV be like, constantly. What did I do? What did I what do? What did I do? Oh, I was the problem there. Right. Oh, it was me. And I guess I'm the problem here too. Yeah, I love it. Oh, and but now Seahawks 1987 is our new king of the, our new. There you go. Meet the new boss. Two times. Same as the old Two boss. Two times. Yes, he Two can time. DDP this. He can DDP this. Two time. Two, Two time. time. Two time. I don't know if you knew this, but you can ramble. You can email the ramble. You can. At uh, ramble at the ramblepod.com. You can also follow us on Twitter at podcast ramble one. Uh, we're also on Instagram, Eddie, at Podcast Ramble. You are? Yeah. Yes. We have a merch page. I don't know if you knew that. I didn't. Yeah. It's the same aware. old merch page. Oh, that, new that fancy one. New then one. I was aware. That yes. fancy pants new one hasn't happened yet. But mm. it was a tea public. Yeah, tea public. T public. Ramble. Go, Go get Ramble. your gear. Go get your gear. Get a pillow. Get a mouse get pad a mouse if you pad, still use them. A pillow. Imagine the holes you can cut in those faces and the oh. do whatever you want. There's one pillow out there you can get of a cartoon uh, Jerry as a, uh, uh, what's the city Omega transformer? Supreme. Omega Supreme. Me as Han yeah. Solo. You can just fold your penis around it like a taco. Just give it And to just, us. Give, just it. give it. Give us the what for, you know? Give us what for. I mean, I'm not mad at that. <laughs> Who'd be mad at that? Oh, um, you could titty fuck that pillow. Go for it. That's right. Mm. Titty fuck both titty, of us at once. Titty fuck the ramble. I, thank you. We have an email from the American Dream, Dustin Jacobs. Mm -hmm. He says, I will die in this hill. I don't care. Okay. Here it comes. All right. Black Adam is better than any of the Snyder films. It's okay. I felt the introduction of Black Adam and the real Superman were the only things that resonated with me. Keep in mind, I didn't grow up reading comics. I know comics are the medium of television and film. Rock was dope. The Black Adam character was dope. I didn't give a fuck about anything else. That's my review. Mm -hmm. And then uh, costume fiasco. I honestly had no fucking clue what you guys were. I'm like, what the fuck is this? You guys doing some pro wrestling from Hollywood stuff or what? I know Sonic. I know Silent Hill. No idea what the fuck the other thing is. Mario and Luigi should have been the choice. Obvious, but if you want to win, just run the damn ball. Mm. I mean, he's saying we... I mean, just his argument holds water with this it, Sonic. Well, seeing how, the con a, seeing how the contest shook out, yes, his argument does hold water. Just, we should have we gone as the Contra the guys or the Super Mario, Double Luigi. Dragon, or the Contra guys. We should have because that that's that's what that's what the simpletons want to see. That's what these that's what the sheeple wanted. That's what the the Ham and Eggers want to see. Right. <laughs> that's what they want. That's what these Ham and Egg motherfuckers want. But that's we tried. We tried potatoes, people. You know what? Fuck us for trying to elevate the game. I. That's what we did. Sorry. Right? Fuck us Man. for trying to elevate the game with we, we, Starman we, and the Amazon. We bring some complicated passing schemes into this, and we're the bad guys. Sorry, we introduced the forward pass a, a little early. A little early. We, before we you guys brought, were ready we, for it. But right. We, we, we thought, you know what? We tried to run the triangle, but we did, we, there wasn't a Jordan there to take the ball. Right. Right? And that, was just, and that, and that metaphor, uh, game stopped to be the Jordan. Or do, game dude would be the Jordan. Game dude would be the Jordan. Game dude would be the Jordan. Because we failed. were the Jordans when it comes to wearing they the costume. They failed us. They fucked up. They were needing a Jordan. We're just going to say that. Because all this is going to do for next year is just elicit more uh, uber common, unoriginal costume ideas. I know. For their next costume contest. It's just gonna, I already have my costume idea for next okay. year. Okay, what? I still think you and Colton need to be Belmonts. Okay. Okay. I, like I thought I'd be Alucard, Dracula's son. 
Nice. I like I'm going to change it. Oh. But I don't know if I should say it because someone's going to steal it. Don't fucking steal it. You ready for this? All right. What is it? Weird Alucard. What do you a think? A mashup. What a do you mash think? Up. Mash weird up. Alec- mash up. Weird Alucard. I so like I have, it. I have most of Alucard, but I got the but a Hawaiian Korean, shirt on. A Hawaiian shirt and, and, the, and the fro. I like it. What do you think? I like it. Weird that has to win. That has to win. How does how does that not take home the bacon? You know that has to win. <laughs> or that, it, or does some schmo dressed up like a Pac Man ghost go in there and win the thing? That's who's gonna do. Some guy's just gonna wear a blue sheet. And he's Pac Man. And that's ghost. it. He's that's... a Pac Man ghost. Oh, they did it. You and I go as a Pac Man pellets. We get a fuck you. Right. Right. We get a fuck you. We go as the cherry of the orange in Pac Man. Yeah. We get a fuck you. Right. Unreal. Unreal. Un. Anyway, I'm ho- Eddie, I'm hopping mad. Ugh. I'm going to keep reading. This is from Brian Hill. Hello, Ramblers. This is Brian Hill, our new king of the hill, a.k.a. Seahawks fan 87. Just want to say, guys, you got you got robbed on the contest. They Thank were you. awesome. Thank and, you. Eddie, I won't be able to make the Ralph Report live. I wish I could oh. have your second job. That's the world we live in. Got a TCB, uh, one baby. job isn't enough. And got a sad TCB. Halloween is that's true. Sad Halloween is over and haunt season at Castle Rock, aka Castle Dark, was fun to do. An amazing stress reliever. Anyways, if Cody doesn't come back sometime, how do I send an application to take his spot? LOL. And one more thing, one more time. How about them Seahawks this year? And Jerry, are you worried <laughs> the Cowboys are peaking too early? Or do they can do well all year? Thanks. Love you guys. Keep up the funny. Love you too. But look. In the NFL, I don't peak whenever the fuck you want. I don't ever. Yes, of course you worry that. Oh shit, is this too soon? Right. But I can't. I'm not going to be upset that they're winning. No, I can't, can't be upset. I can't be mad that they're winning. But you do want to start peaking around week 13, 14, going That's, into the playoffs. But you also want to have a shot at the playoffs by. Week I'd be 13. more concerned if I was an Eagles fan, just because they have looked so dominant so early. Right. And they got to have some stumble games. You would think. Right. I get the stumble games out of the way now. I think the Cowboys are in a good spot. Two losses, so they haven't been just destroying everybody, right? Yeah. And then, okay, now you start after the, that buy in the middle of the year, now you start fucking peaking for real. And you know what's going to help? Odell Beckham Jr. I'm calling it. All right, there it is. Double ACL Odell Beckham Double Jr. ACL Odell. That, there it is. Bring it on All running right. on turf. All right. That'll help. <laughs> yeah. That'd be golden. Joshua Snyder. Hello, Ramble. Hopefully we have a post-election Cody and that he's dumped MG- MTG for a redder, if that's possible, pastures. At least hope he's called in the cyber ninjas to tear apart the voting machines at the game store that's so ruthlessly robbed. Amazon and Starman. Thank you, Joshua Snyder. Snides, thank Nights. you. Graham and Faye, greetings from the Great White North, Great White North fellow Ramblers. It's been a minute since <clears> the <throat> last email. Much like the trend-setting Retro Rocha, it appears all the cool kids are busy throwing down against cancer. After 20 years clear, Faye's back and entrenched in the fight, this time against not one but two different oh. cancers. Unfortunately, Team Great White North has been preoccupied with chemotherapy, immunotherapy, hospitals, doctor's appointments, pokes and prods, and endless tests, all in preparation for upcoming surgeries. Sadly... This has not left too much free time for our usual rambling emails. Bad arse wifey for the win. She has a great picture of Faye kicking ass in a chair, getting ready to fight this shit. I Kick just thought it was Faye. time to quickly get some entries in. The weekly rambling shenanigans are always so nice. Are always a nice welcome distraction. Anytime, buddy. A big thank you to the crew and the contributors, the chuckles, and these less than spectacular times are much appreciated. F cancer. Hashtag fight Faye fight. Hashtag fight Jerry fight. By the way, a slight deep pull from recent rambles of the recent past. I can't be the only one that needs to see a Hamlet 3000 in the distant future dystopian sci-fi Shakespeare masterpiece, perhaps starring the evil Ur commish by all accounts. It sounds like the perfect vehicle for a Cobra commander short. I'm sure <laughs> Cody would give it a certified fresh ish rating. That's true. I mean, maybe, 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 but let's, so let's, let's pretend we're hearing the theme song. Okay. Boom. And Boom. if you know the words, Eddie, Boom. sing along. Boom. All right, I, I bet you'll know this one. Maybe. It's funny how I find myself in love with you. If I could buy my reasoning, I'd pay to lose. 
One half won't do. And I've asked myself, how much do you commit yourself? Everybody, it's my life. Don't you forget. It's my life. It never ends. There it is. The excellent talk talk with It's My Life. There we are. It's rambling time, baby. We're here. Get down to the tax that are brass. The right. We're gonna get we're gonna do it. Um let's do we jump right into the hat, Eddie? Why I not? Think we just What's dive stopping? right in. Who's let's, stopping us? Not Cody. Who's stopping it? Not Cody. Not Cody. Not Cody. Not Cody. The American Dream, Dustin Jacobs, Macho Man Randy Savage is in your Hall of Fame for the Intercontinental title. Has to be. Jericho and the Miz have had it a ton, but do they have a memorable reign? Mm. Maybe Jericho's feud with China and eventual feud with Benoit. Honky Tonk was a one-note keep-away heel. A close second has to be Mr. Perfect, followed by Razor Ramon. Perfect claimed to be perfect, so could he ever lose the belt? Ramon was a classic character. Also, The Rock did a better impression of Honky Tonk Man as the IC champ. However, it has to be Savage. The match at Mania 3 made the belt matter. Once WCW got bought, no title has mattered. There's too many of them for the IC title to matter. Joshua Snyder. Snites. Josh. Josh. Snites. Josh. Snites. The hat. The intercontinental. The macho man. Randy Savage. Style. Persona. Hero. Heel. Longevity. He had it all. Graham and Faye. Overall, there have been... 88 different Intercontinental Champions. Chris Jericho holds the record for the most reigns with nine. Mm. The Honky Tonk Man holds the longest reign at 454 days. Only three other wrestlers, Pedro Morales, Don Buraco, and Randy Savage have held the championship for a continuous reign of more than a year. Gunther is the current champion in his first reign. He defeated the previous champion, Ricochet, on SmackDown in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, on June 10th, 2022. Well, well, well. It looks like Chris Jericho saunters up to the Ramble Hall of Fame podium, hands the evil commission menu from DJ's Pizza from sunny St. James in Westwood via Winnipeg. My decision-making process will always be typically involved pizza. How can you go wrong with another Westwood peep who has a pizza named after him? He's got a picture of Jericho taking a slash with a pizza cutter across the forehead. Whoa. So Graham and Faye are going to go Jericho. Wow. Damien Botriel. Bot. 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 Dame, good day, Ramblers. Damien Bacherel back again for some regularly scheduled rambling. I'm a child of the Monday Night War, so my Hall of Fame Intercontinental Champion goes to Y2J. Chris Jericho, he's won at the most times at 9, 10 if you include uh, New Japan's IWGP Intercontinental Championship and has competed in some of the best IC title matches in WWE history. Mm. There we go. So nice. was that right down the middle, Eddie? That was two for the madness, yeah. two for Jericho. Yeah. No Pat Patterson, the, no the Pat original <laughs> IC champ. The, the one who started it all. The one who started the whole thing. I'm I'm going to – I don't know how you're going to stand here. You might you might add to it. I'm going to break the tie. Ooh. And I give it – who else could it be? The madness, the macho man Randy Savage. I Same thought – he Is that your pick too? Same here. We did. We pushed it over for the, for, for the macho man. What? He made the title matter. Yeah. He made it matter. He we made talked about the it last title. week. Yep. He made it cool. He, he elevated that belt to something that was more than just something that was yep. tossed around in the mid card. Because he made it seem like he was an actual champ. And again, yeah. like you said, not just some fluff mid card match to yeah. keep people interested. Because he that was, at the time, Hogan would not lose the belt. Right. He and that was dropping. the one belt. That was usually the one title you go, okay, there's gonna, there could be a singles title change here. And it was the yeah. intercom. That's what made it exciting. And, he, and Macho he, Man was like, "Well, fuck it then. If I'm if Hogan's never gonna drop it, then all I'll right, make, fine. I'll yeah. make this just as good." Yep. Fucking genius. Next ramble, three thirty. DC villain. Ooh, okay. DC villain. Digo okay. Joker. Digo Lex. Digo Darkside. Mm. Digo <laughs> Captain Cold. Is it Kite Man? Who is going to get? <laughs> eraser head. What do you eraser do? Eraser head. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> Who goes in the DC uh, villain hat? The tough. villain hat. I know. It's tough. You know what else is tough? Open and closing an encore. Trying to call that. Yeah. yeah and yeah. We, ha- we have people trying that with Diana right. Ross and the Supremes. We're going to start with uh, the American Dream, Dustin Jacobs, Eddie. Okay. He says, Diana Ross and the Supremes open with Come See About Me. They close with Can't Hurry Love. They encore with Stop in the name of love. 
Snides? Snides. Snidesies. He opens with stop in the name of love. Get him out of the seats and doing the hand gestures early. You close with where did our love go? You encore with can't hurry love. No, you just have to wait. Graham and Faye <laughs> say, did you ever notice almost every Supremes and Diana Ross song has love in the name? That's true. Yeah. You open with can't hurry love. You close with stop in the name of love. Ramble, rule, bender, engage from the side of the stage. The Jackson Five rush onto the stage. The encore is I want you back. Look at that. Man. Bots? Bats. You open with you keep me hanging on. They oh, close gosh. the stop in the name of love. Things look good to end strong before Diana grabs the steel chair and oh, takes no. out the rest of the Supremes. Oh. Uh, rest of the Supremes and calls out the PGs to encore with chain reaction. Ooh, wow. 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 Heel wow. turn by Diana. <laughs> Diana Ross heel turn. Who saw that coming? Nobody. God. <laughs> I have them open with where did our love go? Okay. I have, have it with. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Go no, ahead. No, I, I got I got a thing wrong. I was doing top five thing where we alternate. You do your open close on. All right. Man. Then I'll do mine. I have them close with "Come See About Me." Okay. And then I have them encore with "Someday We'll Be Together." Nice. Yes, nice. we will. What, what was yours, Eddie? I you got to start the concert with "I'm Coming Out." I'm coming, bump, bump, bump. I mean, I want the world to know. I, I mean, yeah. I mean, how could you not? And, and I mean, you're not wrong. You've never been wrong. Be never been this right. Right. If if that make if if I if that makes sense, dare I say that? It makes so much sense. Uh, you close the show with "You Can't Hurry, Love." No, you just have to wait. Mm. She says, "Love don't dun, come dun, dun. easy." And then I think I think we uh, we encore a stop in the name of love. Oh, stop! Because they're stopping the, the show. That's the end of the show. Love before you, you break. break think it over. Oh, haven't I been good? That's a mm. great one. That's a great one. Yeah. Ramble three thirty. I hope yeah. you're prepared. Hope you hope you're sitting down. I'm for not. This one. I'm sitting, but I'm not prepared. The Black Crows. What are the Black Crows wow. going to open, close, and encore with? I We're don't know. 90s Southern Rock, baby. Can you handle that, Eddie? Is that handle? I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to. What other choice do we have? It's our life. Ba -da -ba. Don't you forget. I mean, what else can we do, pal? So there we go. Um, All right. Can you do that, Black Crows? You can handle to. that heat. I can handle it. I mean... Look, and if anyone can handle that heat, it's us. It's I mean, us, right? I don't want to brag on us, but if we're anyone can it. handle, we're made for it. We're we're built for this. We're yeah. <laughs> ah, some would say built different. Would some you would say? I would. Would you, would you go there? Would you say we're built different? The, I don't know if it's different. It's just built for. It's just. <laughs> I mean, maybe there's a difference there. Maybe it's the same thing. I maybe don't know. you don't know, right? I don't That's know. It's hard. You don't. You don't. You don't know. You From the inside, you can't see. From there, it is. There it is. See. Yeah. There it is. That's for other people to say and That's write about everyone else in the history get. books. Exactly. That's for the right. I'll. But I'm gonna say I think we are. Is that okay. fair to supersede yes. the history That's books? That's fair. Yeah, it's supersede the, the history books. Get to Fuck it. Fuck, we are. I think we are. We're built. We're built different. That's it. Uh. What What other podcast would have you choose between Black Crows opening, closing, and encore next right. week yeah. and DC villains for a Hall of Fame hat? I'm waiting. Yeah, come on, name come it. Come on, come on, Spotify. And now we can't do this until Cody gets back, right? But do we go ahead and share the news? Um, I, 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 I came across this yesterday, and I brought it to Jerry's attention. Um, pun intended. <laughs> um, there that you came across it. There apparently is a Jizz Talk podcast. There's a podcast called Jizzy Talk. Called Jizzy Talk. Where they interview adult film stars. Jizzy Talk. See, it's not the same. It's I don't not think. the same. I don't think it's the same either because I don't. I have yet to listen to an episode, which I, I plan to this weekend. But I don't You're going to do a deep dive on Jizzy Talk? I'm going to do a, a deep dive into Jizz Talk. Uh, they don't. I don't believe they talk about Jizz. I think they talk. I think they, pardon another pun, beat around the bush. But I don't think <laughs> they really go into the, the, the essence of Jizz. Like the Jizz Talk guys, who you know we're familiar with, we right. we're familiar with their work. The right, Jizz Talk. Guys. We, we're longtime listeners. Uh, for, we're never called though. We still never called. We st never we still called. Never called. But long time listeners. Caller. 
But yes, longtime listeners of Jizz Talk with the Jizz Talk guys. And they seem to know what Jizz is about. So, and this is just, so do you think that this podcast, Jizzy Talk, yeah. is just trying to, I mean, I don't want to say I, it. Are they trying to piggyback on the Jizz Talk guys for I their mean, own you fame said it. and fortune? It was said. You think that's what this is? I think they're trying to get some of that Jizz Talk rub. The Jizz Talk Pun intended. Rub. The Jizz Talk rub. That, you know, I, w- I need everyone to go see if you can, if you get a Roku device, the Weird Al Yankovic movie on Roku. Roku Weird, the Al Yankovic story. It's fucking hilarious. And there is a really fucking, and I think it applies here, but there's a funny thing that in the movie, the music industry starts calling. <laughs> what happens when he parodies a song, right? Yeah. And they call it that artists get, quote, the Yankovic bump. <laughs> <laughs> Where it propels their sales because he yeah. did a parody. The Yankovic bump. It's <laughs> all true. Do, is that what's happening here with the jizz? I think they're bump? getting the jizz bump. A bump Man, of jizz. That hurts. That I I I don't know how the jizz talk guys so, are taking this. Any ramblers want to go there and look up the jizz podcast, jizzy the jizz, talk, jizzy talk. And don't or don't it's we're we're not part don't, of. We're not starting a war. We don't want any of that stupid gimmicky. Let's go fuck with them. No, I, no we're not doing we that. No Just interest. if you want to listen to it and let us know right. what it's about. Well, that's all we care because we probably aren't going to get around to it. But if you want to do that legwork, okay, go but, for again, it. We're not doing that stupid fucking gimmicky no. shit. We're going to talk to you. You know, no. that's fucking stupid. I hate when podcasts have fake fights with other podcasts just to oh, try to bring their numbers the up. Saddest it's the dumbest shit. shit ever. And they all know who they're t- They all know who we're talking about. It's every other fucking podcast. You mean every podcast on the planet? Yeah. <laughs> Does a fake beef with another podcast. But what if the Jizzy talk guys start a fake beef? Well, I don't think with they us. Are. I don't what think if that want, happens. I don't think they want any part of the jizz. You don't talk think guys. they want that steam with the real jizz talk guy? I don't know if they want to talk about jizz for an hour. They want to talk about porn and adult film stars, right. but I don't right. know if they really want to talk about jizz. They don't want to talk about jizz. for an hour. Nah, no, not not like the jizz talk guys do. No, when it comes to being real, oh. would you would you consider that's what that is? Is it being real? Are the jizz if, talk guys if being you, real? If you love actual jizz. <laughs> That's the podcast for you, the Jizz Talk guys. If you love jizz, not just not what makes you jizz, right, right, but jizz itself. Who who can't talk about what makes you? That's yeah, right. That's, I mean, Jesus Christ. That's the little corner the Jizz Talk guys have cut out for themselves. They talk about jizz, jizz itself. I just, I'm very curious to hear. If they're going to have anything to say about it. I'm sure they've addressed it we'll already. See. We'll but we see. need Cody to find those archives. Yes. That's what's holding it. We, I mean, that's it. But anyway, we'll see. Yeah. Um. Anyway, Ramble 330. Reading what books, the now. Black Crows oh. open, close, and encore with. And now it's time. We're reading books. We're playing video games. Eddie, bring your pussy over here. Yeah. We're reading books and playing games. Yes. Damien Bactriel have been bots. slowly reading. Bots. Been slowly reading through Return to the King. I hit a roadblock after loving the first half of the books. It featured Gandalf, Aragorn, and the battle for Gondor. The second half has been all Frodo and Sam making their way through Mordor, and it has felt as tiresome to read as if as if I've been taking every step with them. Shots Ooh. fired! Wow, bots is just going. I mean, are there any sacred cows for Botriel? He just looked at fucking. He's Jay. the legend killer himself. The he's legend, Randy he's Orton. The, the Randy Orton, the legend killer. <laughs> yeah. Bots is the new legend killer. <laughs> Bots is the new legend killer. He just obliterated. Oh, just J.R.R. Tolkien. He he. You know, Bots is the Death Star. Tolkien was Alderaan. Oh God damn. That's, what, That's happened. what happened there. That's what happened there. It just fired him up, blasted that motherfucker. Wow. Oh. Well, there we go. Right. Um, I'm still reading Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, uh, Castlevania. I'm now, I beat Rondo of Blood. Fucking great. Now on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash Retro Rocha, I am playing Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Oh. And Eddie, I'm so mad. That I had this stupid, I had to be like loyal 
to the Nintendo 64 for some stupid fucking reason back then mm-hmm. and never got a PS1 and never mm-hmm. got to play that. I mean, I'm happy I get to play it now. Yeah. But would have been nice back in the day to have been rocking and rolling with that thing. Yeah. Sure would have been nice. Ugh. But there we go. So, there you go. um uh, it's still playing Fist, not based on the Stallone movie about labor relations. <laughs> <laughs> it's Overwatch 2, Xenoblade Chronicles 3, all that good. So you nice. playing anything? You reading anything? I'm buddy? not. Currently, I'm not. I'm watching. Colton has a project in school where he's got to build the uh, Independence Hall uh, on Minecraft. So I'm watching him build Independence Hall on Minecraft. How's he doing? Doing well. They're very nice Independence Hall. You slipping a few dicks in there. I'm trying to get just if he can just sort of hide them in right, just some dicks, right. maybe a tits, maybe, maybe you know, some TNA, something hide a little TNA. Just, if a you can big hide it in there, bush. something in the middle. Just hide it in there for the school project. <laughs> and if he gets busted, you're not gonna be mad at him. No. I mean, well, I'll be, be mad at him because he got caught, not because right. he did it. Not the deed, but getting caught. Because that's right. good that's... parenting. You don't get mad when they get caught. No. You don't get mad with that he did. You get mad that they got caught. They got busted. There That's how you see, parent. That's, there it is. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie, we're already at the top five. You believe that? Let's do it. Top five horror comedies. This is tough. This is a tough one. Yeah, it was. The American Dream, Dustin Jacobs, says number five is What We Do in the Shadows. Number four is Ghostbusters. Number three is Gremlins. Number two is Scream. Number one is An American Werewolf in London. It's not bad. Those are good. Josh Schneider. 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 He also has What We Do in the Shadows at five. Sean okay. of the Dead at four. Young Frankenstein at three. Ghostbusters at two. You ready for this one? What? You ready for this one? Uh, one that I'm pissed I forgot about. Yeah. Because I agree with him a thousand percent. It's, it's fucking great. The Burbs. Amazing yeah. cast. I guess I that is a comedy. I mean, yeah, a horror, horror movie. A, horror movie. Yeah. Watched it religiously since I was 12. So many quotables. Eddie, I finally talked my dad into exploring the option to sell the Commanders. I hope you're happy. Thank you, Snides. Thank you, as always. You guys are the best. Appreciate Snides. it. Josh was Snides. Snider. Dude, I forgot all about the burbs. Yeah. I forgot all about the burbs. Me too. Crazy. Because I, I, I always consider it just a comedy. But a like, comedy. No, I guess it is a horror It is comedy. a horror. It is. Yeah. Fuck. It was great. I got to see if that's streaming somewhere. I got to watch that again. Yeah, I need to see that too. Graham and Faye. They're uh, number five, Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Nice. Number four, What We Do in the Shadows. Number nice. three, Dead Alive, a.k.a. Brain Dead, the Peter Jackson's first one. Okay. Uh, before he took Botriel's advice and trimmed Return of the King, got rid of all the junk so we could make it a better movie. That's, he, took, he, he listened <laughs> to Botriel. His number two, Evil Dead 2 and Army of Darkness because wow. it's part one and two of the same story. Okay. And number one, Shaun of the Dead. He's got a great T-shirt that says Zombade, Ramble Off, Graham and Faye, Winnipeg. Hey, Damien Botriel. Number five, Gremlins. Number four, Shaun of the Dead. Number three, Zombieland. Number two, Army of Darkness. Number one, Ghostbusters. Hashtag fight, Jerry fight. Hashtag fuck the Ramblers. Hashtag hope the Butler poll happens soon. See you next week, gang. <laughs> Cheers, Damien Botriel. Yeah. Top five horror. Co- By the way, I'm calling Ramble 3:30, Eddie. I don't okay. even know. Call it. Top five Wakanda Forever moments. I'm that confident that we'll have it. We'll be there. We'll be there. I'm we'll that confident. There. So we're gonna. We have, may even do a little short one of night of. We might. A little so reaction it, video. It, damn right. So it's gonna be one more time. D- what DC villain goes in the Hall of Fame hat? Okay. What would the Black Crows open close an encore within top five Wakanda Forever moments? Nice. Eddie. My number five yeah. was Ghostbusters, but I'm kicking myself that I forgot about the burbs. The what burbs. I'm kicking myself about the burbs, too. Uh, my number uh, five, Piranha 3D. Oh, that was a comedy. Piranha 3D. That's right. Great one. Uh, my number four, I went with What We Do in the Shadows. Okay. I haven't seen that. I have to see that. I've missed all of that What We Do stuff. So i got to see that. I know. Uh, my no- my number four. Actually, I know it's a spoof movie. Mm-hmm. But it's to me, I it's it's one of the better ones of the new generation that did these movies. Yep. Uh, scary movie, scary movie, the original yeah. scary the movie, first of the way, the first movie. one. Yep, yeah. yep. Um, my number three, Army of Darkness. Oh, okay. Army of, although it was far more comedy than horror. Yes. <laughs> Pretty it much was, all comedy. It's basically a Three Stooges movie. <laughs> uh, my but, number three, Piranha Three. Double D. Oh my God! The Piranha franchise. <laughs> Piranha Three is just Double running D. with it. 
So that's where the guy's dick gets bit. The the, the piranha swims into the woman right. in the pool. She doesn't know there's a piranha in her. In her. She goes back and fucks a dude. That dude gets his dick bitten off by the piranha that's inside her vagina. Then the piranha comes out, and he they beat. The, I think they beat the piranha. Right. That has his half bitten dick in it, and then you see his half penis laying on the floor. It's amazing cinema. What? When did the Piranha franchise go? Fuck it, we're comedy. It was I, after the first one. I think after the first one? one, they're like, we can't do a sequel to this. It's ridiculous. Right. Let's we just make, make fun. fun. Let's have fun with it. And I mean, technically, every slasher film after the first one, with the exception is of the usually movies, a comedy. The Halloween ones are the only ones that were like, nope, we're gonna keep this shit horrific. Yeah. But like, I mean, Friday the Thirteenth. Come on, when he when the guy's singing to his girlfriend, taking a shit in the outhouse, and Jason, <laughs> the fourth one, and Jason kills him. That and then by the second Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy Krueger's just Don Rickles. Yeah, right. He's just making fun of the kids and killing them. He's as just he's roasting insulting. him as he's killing. Yes, him. he just roasts them as he kills. It's them. amazing. <laughs> Uh, My number two, I went with uh, the brilliant One Cut of the Dead. Okay. Which I showed Colton when he was here. Yeah. My number two was Army of Darkness. Army of Darkness. And my number one, what else could it have been? But I thought it revolutionized his genre, and that was Shaun of the Dead. That's my number one. Shaun of the Dead. Yeah. And I think one of the most underrated moments of that movie is at the end, near the, or like the middle of it, when they walk past the exact same cast from another movie doing yeah. the same thing. <laughs> like that was great. Like, they just walk past copies of themselves going so through good. the same thing. Look at that. Eddie, so, look at that. We did it. Ramp. We did it. So ramble three thirty. what DC villains on the hall of fame hat. What would the black crows open, close and encore with yeah. top five Wakanda forever moments. <clears throat> I dare I say Cody might be here for all that. Oh, let's see. Let's hope. We'll Fingers split. crossed. There it is. All right. We love yeah. you guys. You know where to find us. You know where to love us. Go do it. Stay safe. Don't make a fuck out of us. We love you guys. We'll see you next time. Take care, Bye. everybody.